Hello, St. Tim's. Uh, Father Patrick here. So on Wednesday mornings, we started doing something a little uh, different. Uh, at 1030 on Wednesday mornings, uh, the staff and I, we go out into um, the courtyard and we pray and we probably spend maybe, you know, 20 minutes or so in prayer, you know, in song, uh, lifting up prayers and petitions um, that what's on our heart. And today we were praying out there, and as many of you know, we are uh, doing some work in uh, renovating our, our restrooms. And while we were praying, there was just all this noise and racket coming from like pounding on walls and um, uh, saws working and stuff like that. And at first I was like really distracted and I don't want to say annoyed, maybe a little like distracted uh, by all the noise. And I was like, why can't we find somewhere quiet to pray? And you know, this is, this is really not working for me. And then I realized that a lot of that noise and a lot of that, um, the, the saws, the pounding, really reflects a lot of the distractions we have in our daily life when we try to pray, you know, like when we're at mass and I mean, how many of you have been at mass and all of a sudden, you know, you're thinking about something else or somebody moves or something and you're totally distracted from your prayer and, um, or even at home, you know, distracted by noise in another room, by a television or something. And I, it's just mirrors uh, the distractions that we have and the noise that really is in our daily lives. And so I think the key for us is to realize that when we pray, uh, when we try to read scripture, when we try to do anything focused on God, there are gonna be those distractions. And two things, I mean, one, we can just let the distractions um, affect us and, and, and take us off our game, or we can anticipate that the distractions are gonna be there and we're gonna choose not to let them distract us from our focus on God. And so our lives and our prayer lives are filled with many distractions and let us choose not to let them take away, take us away from that, that moment with God, but that we can push them aside and, and keep our eyes and ears and hearts focused on Christ. I love you all, have a great week and God bless you.